Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's video. Um, today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Um, I'm going to be doing a bit of a book review. Usually I leave book reviews to my wife, um, Ice Goddess, or well, her, uh, her username might be Yara. I'll put her link in the description. If you like book reviews, you might like some of her stuff. Um, so I'll link that in case anybody's interested. <clears throat> Topic of today is a book by Mark Dice. Um, it's called The War on Conservatives. Now, there was a couple of reasons why I was hesitant to film this. Um, main reason is because a lot of the stuff in the book, although it's accurate, is almost, well, it's definitely frowned upon to talk about. And people like to cancel people for bringing up certain topics and... Uh, YouTube likes to, to shadow ban people or actually ban people. Um, I've subscribed to conservative podcasts in the past who no longer have YouTube channels because of some of the things they've said or done. Um, I would argue I would argue that they're allowed to say and do the stuff that they did and said um, due to free speech. At least in the United States, we have free speech currently, though it seems to kind of be heading uh, against that. So um, i hesitant to, to make this and talk about things because uh, a couple reasons. I don't want to lose the YouTube channel. Um, I don't want YouTube to ban me uh, or, you know, write me up for sharing my opinions. Um, more importantly than that, I don't want to have my job get affected um, because there are certain topics that you are not supposed to bring up or notice. And a lot of employers, I'm not saying my employer specifically, but a lot of employers, when you say something that doesn't go, which goes against the grain of thought or the, the normal thought process of people, uh, be it right or wrong, but a lot of employers... Or a lot of people will go out of their way to try to get you fired from said employer. Um, I am going to be tactful with how I word things. I'm not going to be extremely blunt. Um, I don't want to offend anyone, believe it or not. You'd think me talking about this kind of thing that I don't care about offending people. It's not the case. I think sometimes people get offended easily. Um, I've gotten offended before probably when I probably shouldn't have, you know, so it happens, you know, human nature. Um, so yeah, I, I know I'm, I'm a little hesitant and I, you can just tell I'm nervous, uh, because I, I don't want to lose my job. Um, I don't want to lose this YouTube channel. Um, I don't want to create a bunch of enemies, but I think it's important enough to discuss and let you guys know my thoughts on the book, even if we don't go into grave details. Um, so a little bit about uh, let me show you the book here. This will kind of give you an idea of what's in the book. Um, it's called The War on Conservatives. It is by Mark Dice. Now, um, Mark Dice is a YouTuber, kind of a media analyst, if you will. Um, he actually went to school for that. Um, he makes YouTube videos, and he does different things in California like asking people on the streets um, as far as what they think about certain topics or asking them to sign ridiculous, um, ridiculous, uh, what am I trying to say? Like um, petitions. Uh, one, one prime example um, is he's gone around California asking people to sign a petition to ban the Bible because it's offensive. And the amount of people that jumped on the idea of banning the Bible. I'm not a big book banner per se. Um, I do think certain books don't belong in children's libraries. Um, I don't think they need to be banned or burned or anything of that sort. Uh, not that Mark thinks that either. But I don't think, I think the Bible should not be considered offensive. Um, you know, the same way with other religions... You don't, I mean, I just don't, I don't think other religions have their books banned either. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's an important part of their religion 
And at least in the United States currently, um, there's freedom of religion. So you're supposed to be able to practice religion. Um, so, uh, <laughs> Uh, so yeah, this book, um, I would say the war on conservatives, I mean, for one, he has, um, footnotes and, you know, references to everything he says. So it's not just, you're listening to some guy write his opinion. It's not an opinion. It's more factual than anything. Um, so I did enjoy the book. Uh, this is actually the first book I have read in many years. Um, I don't do a lot of reading. I find it to be time-consuming and sometimes tedious. I prefer to listen to audiobooks uh, myself. But uh, this was a good read. This was actually my first Mark Dice book that I've ever read. I did enjoy it. I thought it was well-researched. Um, and I thought it, it was good. And it also even though a lot of the things he has talked about in the past, like anti-whiteism, for an example, um, for those of you that don't know, anti-whiteism is essentially, well, it, it is racist. It's, it's, it's the word for racism against white people, um, which is prevalent, uh, not everywhere. I'm, you know, I'm not saying that, but it is, there are people that are racist, you know, period. There are people that are racist. I don't think that should be, I don't think that's, to me, that's not um, offensive. It's just factual. Um, though some people choose to believe that nobody can be racist against white people. Um, since I brought that topic up, that um, is one of the things addressed in this book. But it's also something that you'll see in your day to day life if you pay close attention. And again, keep in mind those of you in other countries, I'm speaking mainly on the United States of America because that's where that's where I'm from. That's where I live. Um, but it's in the United States. It's OK. And it's kind of popular to be racist towards white people. Um, but against any other race, it's not OK. Um, now, there are also uh, uh, racism against Asians, which is similar to the whites where, for some reason, people think it's okay. Um, I argue that no racism is okay ever against any race or group of people. Um, it also talks a lot about the LGBTQ plus community. Um, this is one of those topics where I find it very interesting and concerning that if you have something negative to say, even about an individual within the LGBTQ plus community, but if you have something negative to say about one individual in that group and you voice that opinion, you can get canceled like that. Like you can get canceled, you get, you get classified as uh, homophobe. Um, you, you know, hate speech It's just even me discussing the fact that that happens could get me in trouble with the LGBTQ plus community. Um, you know, it's, I'm familiar enough with that community or certain people in that would by default fall into that category. Um, I, I'm not going to get into my opinions really because also this is not my YouTube channel is not um, typically political. I try to kind of keep it just to more fun stuff. Um, we could do more political videos in the future, but it tends to saying things that are political uh, or controversial to one group of side of people. You know what I mean? It seems to, it seems, it doesn't, to me, like, yeah, having a voice is important. Um, but for for example, in past elections, I have posted a lot of things on my Facebook, my personal Facebook, about how I feel about certain presidential candidates and how I feel about others. And it never changes anybody's opinion. 
It just makes everybody angry. And because of that, at least on my personal Facebook, I try not to get political. I don't really want to get political here, though you could argue by me even talking about Mark Dice and his book that I'm being political. It's not my intentions, but um, I do think it's important enough to talk about. Um, the book, I, I would definitely pick up a copy of it and read it. Um, you might be surprised by what you find in the book. Um, it doesn't surprise me, um, partly due to watching all of Mark Dice's videos and others as well. I, you know, I subscribe to some people from the Daily Wire. They're more of a conservative mainstream group. Um, but the nice thing too, in Mark Dice's book, he does not hold back. He also talks. It's not just left versus right, right versus left. He talks also about conservative voices or that are looked upon as conservative. Um, big names like Ben Shapiro, Andrew Tate, and he just flat out says the truth about them. Um, really unpopular opinion, even from conservatives. Conservatives find it unpopular to say anything negative about another conservative, uh, Mark Dice just goes out of his way to tell the truth. That's really all the book's about. It's about facts, um, things that have happened, things that are currently happening, the way in which we are headed as a country, and it's just very informative. Um, so I, I definitely think it's worth a read. Um, I'll leave a link to his Amazon page. If you're interested in reading this, I'd be happy to discuss uh, different things in the comments if you want to discuss it. Um, I don't want to get myself canceled. Um, you know, but but also, do, should I really be afraid to to speak the truth? You know, something else that's important to me um, and this is going to show my religious, I'm Christian. Uh, I don't have a problem with people knowing that. I don't have a problem with saying that. Um, but there, there's literally in this book, there's, um, there's, uh, passages about the war on Christianity. And to me, I think that's important to discuss, um, because there are people that literally want to cancel Christian holidays and find Christian holidays offensive. And I don't think it's fair to go out of your way to weaponize holidays against believers. Um, and that does happen. A prime example, which I knew about before this book, um, but there has been... Um, a certain group of people, I don't remember <clears throat> what they are called specifically, um, but they worship the devil. Um, and, and they say they worship the devil. It's not me judging them or, or making that opinion of my own. They worship the devil. That's what they do. And so they've put up devil-worshipping displays in government buildings in the United States and claim that they're allowed to put them there because it's their freedom of religion and their um, freedom of speech and all that. And nobody has, um, nobody's fought against that in the government. Um, it's, it's sad. <laughs> and it's, it's not, I just, it's interesting because we're so far down this rabbit hole where things of the past, like, devil worshiping witches has had a negative spin to it no matter what religion you are be you christian or any other religion it's 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 always had a negative spin to worship the devil and nowadays it's it's almost becoming popular and mainstream there's music artists that go out of their way to do satanic music videos and to do devil worshiping and mock Christianity. Um, 
And I think it's important for Christians to find their voices and say something about it. Um, so that's part of another part of the reason why I feel it's important enough to make this video. Also, my brother-in-law purchased this book for me by request for my for Christmas. Um, but he also wanted to know my he wanted to hear a video reaction. Um, I, he said I could make it just private and just share it with him, but I, I don't think that's right, um, to, to not allow everybody else this insight into my mind. Um, I, I think if anybody else wants to hear my input, I shouldn't be afraid to share it. Um, because at the end of the day, um, first and foremost, I haven't really said anything that negative in this video. Um, and I don't plan to, but also if I lose my job, doesn't matter. God's got me taken care of. He'll get me another job. Um, find me something else to do. Find me another way of source of income. You know, if I lose my YouTube channel, it, it would stink, you know, but it's not the end of the world. Um, so, you know, it's important enough, you know, we're at war. It's and and the war on conservatives, the war is uh, more of a mind war. You know, it's not like people are hunting you down with guns yet. Um, but it's important to discuss these kinds of things to make sure it doesn't happen. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's just, there's just a lot of good stuff in this book. A lot of stuff that's not, that's frowned upon to speak about, even if it is true. So if you have any interest in this book, feel free to follow the link um, to purchase one for yourself. Um, but I'd say an easier start to kind of get get you going down this way is just to watch a couple Mark Dice videos of topics that you're interested in. Um, he has a lot of books. Um, like I said, this is my first one I've ever read of him. Um, I think he's I think he's a great author. I think he's a great video maker. And, uh, he keeps everybody informed. Um, so yeah, I, uh, feel free to share your opinions in the comments. Um, no need to be, you know, hateful against each other or me, but, uh, even if you disagree, I'm more than happy to let you post your comment. Um, as long as you're not, you know, just, uh, I'm, I, I very rarely um, go through and delete comments. In fact, I don't know that I've ever deleted a comment. Sometimes YouTube will delete it for me and say that it can't be posted. But um, that being said, I just, I'm just i open to other people's opinions, even if you disagree with me. I'm more than happy for you to voice your opinion down in the comments uh, or to make a video yourself um, about what your beliefs are. So... Uh, I know this has been a bit weird, and I've been nervous. I shouldn't be nervous. Uh, it's just a different topic that I don't usually discuss, um, and I kind of feel like I'm opening a door uh, for these kinds of discussions. And like I said, you could, you could, if you, if you say the wrong thing, you could lose your job. I mean, it's just, and the problem I have with that, it's not. It's not even that you say the wrong thing. It's if you say the the unpopular thing out loud. That's where I have a problem with it. Because you should be allowed to have an unpopular opinion. Even if it's wrong or right, you, you should be allowed to voice your unpopular opinions. That's, that's my opinion. <laughs> so, anyways... Um, yeah, feel free to discuss in the comments. You guys have a good rest of your day. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, tomorrow we've got RuneScape 3. And then I'm going to try and get some SB19 for Tuesday. So, hope you guys have a good rest of your day. And talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>